Hey guys, it's Tran, and today I'm going to be filming my September favorites. September was literally the, like, craziest yet coolest month for me. Um, it sucked at the same time. I went back to school at the end of August, like, two days before September started. Um, I went to a Cher Lloyd concert. I, I just did so much this, this September, so let's get into it. So since I did start going, I was back to school, I decided to start wearing makeup on a daily basis, which is not something that I've ever done going back to school. Um, last year, I literally wore like mascara and eyeliner on a daily basis, but this year, these are the products that I wear, like minus one. So first I have the Falsies Volume Express Waterproof Mascara, and it looks like this, and I literally wear it all the time. I I toyed with it all month. I went from wearing them like clumpy, falsy looking or kind of just, you know, natural or just really pretty and long and wispy. I just, I love this mascara so much and yeah, but it is waterproof so it was extremely difficult to get off. Um, quick tip though that my mom taught me, put Vaseline on instead of, you know, struggling with your makeup remover. The next thing I have is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Uh, pressed powder and it's translucent and it looks like that and it smells so good I'm one of those people who just loves to um, smell makeup or smell things and this just smells so fresh and I got this because it was just really raved about lately so it's like okay let me just go out and get it it was only like three or four dollars next I have the Maybelline Dream Lumi touch concealer I'm sorry like the other part is too sh Anyway, it looks like that, and I originally bought it, and I was like, oh no, this is too light. I got it in Honey, but I like to use it um, after I put on my foundation and just kind of like use it to highlight my face, and it's been working for me really well. Next, I have the Revlon Nearly Naked uh, Foundation, and this is in the shade 240 Toast, and I wear this every day, and sometimes if I'm just like, oh god, no, I put on a little bit of Fit Me. Um, because this is a bit too pale for me, but not too much. Um, it just kind of maybe washes me out, especially in combination with the translucent powder. So I always wear bronzer on a daily basis just to kind of warm my face up. But I love the feeling of this. I love how it feels really just sh like, not sheeny, what does that even mean? Light, I can still feel my skin. I get compliments on it still. So I just, I really like this. Okay, speaking of all of that makeup... I've had to kind of up my ante when it comes to my makeup routine, not my makeup routine, uh, my skincare routine. So I've been using the Noxzema, um Original Deep Cleansing Cream, and I've had this literally for like two years now, and I'm finally almost out. Uh, yeah, um, it just, it cleans my skin like no other. It is the bomb.com. I love it, and I've been using it a lot. Since that can get a bit harsh, I like to kind of use a gentler uh, cleanser. So I've been using Cetaphil, and this is Cetaphil uh, Gentle Skin Cleanser for all skin types, and it looks like so. And I don't know, I just really like it. I think that it's really gentle, but at the same time it feels like it's actually cleaning. And this still amazes me. Like I, I can honestly forget that it's cleanser and it's just not some soft thing I put on my skin and then wash off. Like it actually cleans, so that helps. Um, next I have all of my nail polish faves and unfaves. Okay, so this is one of my faves and this is Nicole, I can't speak English, Nicole Bio P.I. And this is the Kardashian collection. This is Chloe Had a Little Lamb Lamb. It's just a really dark color. I've lo been loving dark bluish greens colors for um, fall. Uh, these are my unfavorites. I love these two colors, but I hate China Glaze. I'm sorry, as of right now, I hate China Glaze no matter what it is, except for one color. There's one exception that I have in my collection that actually works, but China Glaze is not my fave. It chips all the time, and it's just... <clears throat> so this is Turned Up Turquoise, and this is Blue Sparrow, and it's a neon, but it's just... They're really electric blues, and they chip like no other. Like, I paint them on there, and I went to a football game, I painted it on around like 5 and by 9 o'clock that night, it was all the way chipped off. So, no. I was like, no. Okay, so as I mentioned before, I went to a concert this month 
and it, I went to go see Cher Lloyd. I absolutely love Cher. Absolutely. Uh, hold on. Let me show you. I photoshopped that. That's Cher. Sorry, guys. Uh, I love Cher. I, and then also Fifth Harmony were one of the opening acts, and that was basically my selling point. I'm a hardcore harmonizer, and I just had so much fun. So here's my ticket stub, and it looks like this. And it was in the House of Blues in Cleveland, Ohio. Um, it was on September 14th, and it was amazing. I don't know. Um, Fifth Harmony, fun fact, they are so much more high-pitched in person. It's not even funny. I thought something was wrong with their microphones. Like, it's not bad, but it catches you off guard. Um, Cher was absolutely incredible. When we were in the concert, quick concert experience for a second. Um, when we were at the concert, at standing room only, um, we got, we stood exactly by the DJ booth, and... Um, other people who opened up for Cher and Fifth Harmony were Zara Larson and uh, Jackson Guthy. Well, I've been doing like my little research on Jackson, and uh, his, I'm, I'm pretty sure, we were pretty sure it's him. A friend of his, or like his tour manager, I'm not sure, I've seen him in a video of his though, walked right by us like twice, and we were like, he smells so good, and we're staring dead at him, and we look at each other and we're like, I know him. And we couldn't figure it out. And then later I was going through my phone and I saw a picture of Jackson and him. And I was like, that's him! So, yeah. Also, before the concert, we got to um, Zara's momager. I'm just going to say it's a momager. It's probably just her manager. Came out and asked if we wanted posters. She said that Zara was going to come out and sign them. Um, I'd already seen a music video by Zara. So, I said yes. And uh, then a couple of other people said yes. But really, only... My friend and I were the only people in our part of the line that said yes. So anyway, she came and she signed this for us. She looks nothing like this in person. And she comes around the corner and she's in this Top Shop floral play suit that I've seen a kajillion times. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's Zara. I was like, it's Zara. And like, she looks up and she smiles and she comes over to us. And we kind of talk a little. And she was just really sweet to meet in person. So that was nice. Um, also, uh in the concert itself. So many people came for Fifth Harmony that by the time Cher actually came, we went from like way back by the DJ booth, which, which was still good seats, let me tell you, to like by the end of the concert, I was like third or fourth row and Cher literally like was looking at me while she was performing. It was absolutely incredible. I wouldn't trade that experience for anything else. Um, so with that long story, I got this tour shirt and it's just it's it's Cher and a lot of people say it doesn't look like her in that picture and it has like all this crazy animal print and I'm just in such a denial like post-concert depression that I just want to wear this with everything like I wore it to school the weekend after the concert but I literally wear this all of the time around the house I'm surprised it doesn't smell disgusting I wear it to bed I've literally worn this like 15 times within the past 14 days um, yeah, so that is the end of my September favorites. If I forgot anything, then I will be sure to leave them down in the description bar below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to like it and, um, follow me on Twitter at RoxyChanel85. Please, please, please subscribe and make the world to me that you actually watch this. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Okay, bye.